Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. For today's video, I've prepared two macrame projects. So far, I created many macrame home decor items and accessories. I always like working on macrame projects as I found it very relaxing and calming. I know sometimes they can be time consuming, but I think they pay off by its unique and outstanding look. In this video, I won't go deeply into macrame notes as I've created a separate video about it. I will leave the link to it down below if you want to check it out as well. And now without any further ado, let's get right into the first project. This is Glass Demi Jones. I think that's what it's called. I bought it a while ago on car boot sales. I really like its shape, but I wasn't sure what I can do with it. It's quite heavy and I think it creates a very unique decoration. For this project, I will be using 6mm thick macrame cord. I start with creating a loop around the top part of my jar. This will be beginning of my macrame design. It's almost like a wooden dowel when you're creating wall hanging. To create my design around this jar, I will be using 8 pieces of cord, each one about 120 cm long. I take first piece, fold it in half and attach it to my loop by creating large set knot. It's very simple, all you have to do is to pull your folded in half cord through horizontal cord and then pull its two loose ends through the loop. I'm attaching A cords, but this number is irrelevant. If you want to achieve busier design, add few cords extra. Only make sure you have an even number of them. Once they are all attached and spread evenly around, I can start working on the rest of this design. I take another piece of cord and cut the length equal to the uh, circumference of my jar. I place all ropes on the side and attach that extra piece around by gluing it with hot glue. Only in a few places you don't want to glue it all its length. Now I put back all my cords. Each individual loose piece of cord I'm going to wrap around the horizontal one. At first I place it behind and then go around it. And I repeat this with all the cords. I'm taking four adjacent cords and create square knots. As I mentioned before, you can check my basic macrame knots video if you are new to this technique and want to learn more. From my own experience, I've learned a lot of knots just by watching other tutorials. To be honest, it's quite hard to explain with words what to do. Watching it all over again makes more sense. And of course, a practice is a big key. Altogether, I'm creating four square knots on this level. That's why it's important to have even number of large set knots at first. Then I take another piece of cord and basically repeat the previous step. This time I've glued it on the top of cords as they will go behind it anyway, so I just save my time. I try to keep all the points where the ends connect in the same row, so it's only on one part of the jar, if you know what I mean, which you can always turn and put at the back and you won't see them. And again, I wrap each loose cord around this horizontal one. Going level lower, I create another row of square knots. This time I make them between the ones which are higher. Going even lower, I take two cords from adjacent square knots and create another square knot, which will be on the same line what first knot is. And then I create third row of square knots all around the jar. For the bottom, I've added another horizontal cord and wrap all the loose cords around it. 
To finish it off, I turn my jar upside down and glue all the ropes to its bottom. To create macrame magazine wrap, I will be using two same size embroidery hoops. Ideally would be to use thin metal hoops. Mine are also slightly different thickness and color, but that won't affect too much of the final effect. I will also need wooden sticks or dowel. I will be using them to connect these two hoops together. I've marked the middle point and then cut them using sew. I take the hoops together and just quickly make a knot around them. This is only temporary, I will go back to this part later on and make it nicer. For now I just want them to be connected in one place. I've also put one clamp to secure it even more. Now it's time to attach the dowels to the hoops. I try to put them in the place where the clamp is exactly in the middle between them. You can use wood glue but I'm using hot glue which dries out much quicker. I hold it for a few seconds so the hoops won't go back together under the pressure. Now I can remove the clamp and coat and add a new one slightly thicker and longer. I just wrap it around two hoops making sure they are next to each other, not one on top of the other one. I wrap it few times for nicer effect and then glue the ends inside of the hoops. To create my design I will be using 20 cords, each one 300 cm long and I'm using 3 mm thick cord. All these numbers of course depends on what size is your cord, how big is your hoop and what design you are going for. What's only important to use again even number of cords. I take one cord fold it in half and attach to my dowel by creating Lark's head knot. Always pull the cords starting from the same side of the dowel. All 20 cords are attached which means we have 40 loose cords for creating the design. I take two first cords from the right and put them on the side. I take next four cords and create square knot. This whole design will be done with the same square knot. So once you learn this knot it will all go nicely and smooth. Then I take next four cords and create another knot. And I repeat this process all the way till I reach the other hoop. First row of square knots is ready. For my next row I will start with 4 cords including the two I've left doing the first row. I take first cord and wrap it around the hoop. Doesn't matter if you take it from the back or the front of the hoop. Just try to be constant with this choice. And using all 4 first cords I'm creating square knot. And then again 4 cords and square knot. On the other end I'm as well using two cords which I left doing the first row. Third row of the knots will look exactly same as the first one and so on. The distance between the hoops is getting bigger and then smaller again. That's why I'm doing knot on each end at first and then I adjust the knots between. I also try to keep the whole design quite tight but loose at the same time so it creates the curved shape. Then 
The round shape of the hoops doesn't make easy with holding in, in one position. So always try to find comfortable position and help yourself by putting items around to stop the movement of the hoops. I've reached the second tower, so it's time to secure the whole design. I take four cords from knot. I will be using only two of the cords. The middle ones I'm leaving untouched. And I create lux at knot using only one cord. In this knot is good to know if you want to attach both ends of your macrame piece to the dowel. And then I simply cut off the excess cord. To make it more stable, especially when you put heavier books on it, you don't really want it to turn around. So I'm attaching two dowels on the outside of the hoop, preventing it from turning around. If you are looking for more macrame ideas, I've created playlists with all of my uh, macrame projects. I will leave uh, the link to it down below and let me know in the comment section what do you think about those projects. If you like them and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support and I will see you in my next video.